So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's a YouTube Dave from Seth War Games bring you another dual replay from this weekend's tournament, and this playing is our first place playoff um, from Germany and America. So Stardust playing uh, Adam Emancipators uh, coming from America and Shilabab, uh, Shilabab, sorry, from Germany is playing Eldritch. Uh, very, very good game. I watched this one live and it was so fun to kind of watch these two possible meta decks. I would consider both of these decks being highly represented um, at Euros, to be honest. Um, this is, was including support from Eternity Code. Um, both of these players faced Eldritch matchups. Um, Adam Anticipator matchups and then other like Medolce matchups as well. So some very, very good games. Uh, anyway, we start off with the Eldritch set to activate um, Black Awakening to Special Summon. And then the Adam Anticipator uh, Special Summoning uh, Analyzer to then excavate the top five. So let's keep this one moving. Skill Drain pretty much straight away. Like all credit to Stardust. He keeps playing even under the Skill Drain because they can... Bring out some pretty beasty monsters. Um, wow, Call cool, by the Grave certainly does the job. Uh, so banishes that, set golden lair, set one and pass. He's just going for the beaters now. I mean, that's kind of what you've got to do. You're going to have to try and rush the... Yeah, and it's all going to be a defensive game from here on out. Um, skill Drain pretty much opening up that is really going to shut down the Adam Anticipators. Um, but, because they've got some fairly main deck beast monsters and obviously block dragon as well, they actually have the ability to keep playing through um, the board, but yeah, <laughs> the second Golden Lord is playable, it gets really dangerous, very, very dangerous. And we're just going to keep poking away, so see in that last turn he had like three monsters on board, couldn't poke away enough, and now he's not got anything strong enough to get past the 2800 defender let alone two 2800 defenders, <laughs> so, I mean, fair play to Stardust, he just does not give up, he, he sticks in it, he could have scooped, um, but, you know, uh, he might, I don't know, he might have main decked a, like an out to, or a back row hate, but, yeah, now he sets the counter trap, there's no way you're playing against that, and then, uh, unluckily for him, he's got the, um, the column for skill drain has been set with something else, so Ash Blossom and then just, that's it, it's game. Uh, so going into game two, let's see how this one goes out. Very good hand from the Adam Anticipator player, apart from a, a way of going, so. <laughs> he's got all the hate, he lets the, it seems like they're both bricked. Both bricked hard. <laughs> Doki Doki Imperm. Foolish Barrel, that's an interesting one from the Monster Reborn. But then it kind of works. And then he also plays uh, this Block Golem. Again, which is a really nice kind of cool card. Um, so while that goes back, there you go. So Block Golem, if all monsters in your graveyard are Earth, you contribute this card to target two level four or lower rock monsters in your graveyard, except himself and special summon it. But I activate effects and engage. So that's kind of a nice little card. Uh, and I've also seen a lot of people play um, what, the Medolce rare card as well. Because it's like, if you have no monsters in your graveyard, you can just special summon it and it's a level four Earth. So very, very kind of cool tech. Uh, I don't know if I would personally play it, but I suppose you can control your graveyard with Block Dragon uh, and kind of go from there. Anyway, Grey Knight, search out your Block Dragon. Banish free, comes down to Block Dragon. This should be OTK, unless you run straight into a Nibiru. Researcher, Seeker, and Gigantes. Special Researcher. Right now, yeah, I was going to say, I'd bring out the Quokimiru, now he can't get Nibiru. So even if he did add Nibiru, it would be a little bit too late on that one. Now it has to be game, surely. I like the Block Golem. I think that's a very nice tech. Uh, it's quite specific, though, because obviously you need to... They all need to be Earth, so as soon as you put, like, any of your other extra deck monsters in there, you've not really got a lot. <laughs> Top deck, the uh, Monster Reborn off of the Leonite. So Leonite's another one that not many people play unless you're playing it pure. City's not playing the Go 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 engine either, which is interesting. But gives you your Drakite, Boral Sword, and then, yeah, game. <laughs> Quick, swift. 
now moving into game number three. So this is for the win. It's fairly decent hand. Well, I say that. Set 22. Oh, he had to go first. Oh, no. Clever play from the Eldritch player making the Adamant's pair, pair goes first. I suppose he was expecting to go second, but he's kind of played him his own game on that. Set five pass, lightning storm countered, double evenly. And then this is where it gets dangerous because he's, he's locked himself out of evenly because he's got that one set monster that his opponent isn't getting past. And then being able to resolve two extravagances as well is just filthy. Uh, Eldritch, here you go. And then here drops the evenly matched. I thought this was it. I was like, yeah, the Adamance player's got this now. Um, but because they've got so many cards in the graveyard that can still just regain their board presence, it's quite scary. And then the Adamance player sadly bricked and couldn't really get too much further off of it. So, he, he, so at that point, he activated the quick play to get the Golden Lord on board. Um so that he has the spell engraved to banish and give it an additional effect. But you can kind of see when you have to use your monster reborn to bring back a rock to make a granite, you're in a dangerous situation. And an imperm, oh, imperm on that granite. I don't know if he's got, I assume he doesn't have free rocks or free earths in graveyard to make um, block dragon. Eldritch, yeah, Eldritch is gonna get rid of granite easy. Set one. Pass and then this is where it gets so researcher another imperm. Oh, what? So he has to skip. Yeah, he doesn't have enough for block dragon. That's the issue, especially someone another boss monster. That's 5k swinging in with just 49, which is so damaging. It seems like the Eldritch players just opened up the nuts. There you go. Here comes block dragon. Doki Doki IP. And then Ash in the Block Dragon. That's probably going to be game. Yeah, it is game. So I believe, because I had the discussion after this, um, the, the guy had um, Nibiru or something in hand. Um, so the the way the play could have gone out, he was like, oh, why don't you just crash the Block Dragon? He was like, he could crash the Block Dragon. Um but then he would have only been able to build up a board that couldn't have got rid of the two Golden Lords. And it wouldn't have been enough to finish the game off. So, um, yeah, that's kind of the route he went with. Very, very good game between two really good players. Um, like I said, uh, Shabal was from Germany and Stardust was from America. So it was great to have those two enter the tournament as well. It just kind of shows that the one good thing about Dueling Book or something like this is that you can do online duels with people around the world. Um, but it was a very, very good, entertaining final round as well. And I hope you found it just as entertaining and interesting to watch what I personally feel is the two best decks right now. Especially being played online. I mean, maybe physically they'll be a little bit different. But being played online, these have got the most representation um, between the two. Or between all the decks right now. Um, even post-Eternity Code. So it'll be very, very interesting to see if we get out of um, lockdown soon enough if this deck or these two decks, Eldritch and Adamant's players, will still see a high volume of play as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling.